For this problem, we want to figure out how much a t-shirt store is worth. And we're given the information to let us figure that out. We know that it's expected to produce cash flows forever. So we know we're dealing with an infinite stream of cash flows. And when we hear that, we should think perpetuity. Not always is going to be a perpetuity, but the vast, vast, vast majority of times, forever, it's going to be a perpetuity. Um, the next cash flow is expected in one year, which is nice, fits nicely into our pricing models and it's expected to be $60,000. And then subsequent cash flows are expected to increase by 2.8% each year forever. So we're going to get 60, then we're going to get 2.8% more than that, then 2.8% more than what it was that year, and it's going to continue to increase by 2.8% a year forever. Cost of capital for the store is 9%. We want to know how much it's worth. So again, we go to a timeline, we're expecting annual cash flows, we're given annual growth rates. Cost of capital is given as 9%. There's no time associated with that, so we assume it's annual. Everything's annual, uh, no compounding period. So using our notches as a year uh, makes sense and is, and is appropriate. So we want to know what the present value is. We know that in one year, 60,000, two years, 60,000 times 1.28, three years, 60,000 times 1.028 squared, and the cash flow is going to continue forever. So we know is that the growth rate is 2.8% per year. We're also given that the cost of capital is 9%. And we can see from here that C1, the cash flow that we expect one year from now, one period from now, is $60,000. And if you recall, with a growing perpetuity, present value is simply equal to C1 over R minus G. Sixty thousand over point oh nine O minus point oh two eight. Sixty thousand over point oh nine O minus point oh two eight is point oh six two. And so what is Danny's t-shirt shop worth? It is worth $967,741.94. So roughly a little bit less than a million dollars. And again, this is just, you know, based on the information, I put a lot down there, but it's a simply a growing perpetuity. You got the growth rate, you got the discount rate, you know what the next cash flow is, the one in one period, and you can simply apply the straightforward equation. What this equation is doing is it's actually, that expression is equal to C1 over 1 plus R plus C2 over 1 plus R squared plus C3 over 1 plus R to the third the infinite sequence, but it simplifies to that nice equation.